Hello, people of the internet. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> LMAO, that was so cheesy. Anyways, hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video, and this was really, really requested because the new software for the iPhones came out, iOS 7, and everyone was like, flipping out and I was so excited too because like I mean it is literally beautiful like you you don't understand but I'm obsessed with it and everyone was requesting on Instagram for me to do an update of what's on my iPhone and I really enjoy watching these videos and I was like hey haven't really done one of these in a while so why not I'm gonna do one so here I am reporting to you live from my bedroom and after this I'm gonna have to go study Pew. Perks of being in high school. Love you, physics. Just kidding. It sucks. Anyways, um, I don't really have a lot to say in the intro other than I have a white iPhone 5 and um, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form because this was really requested. Comment down below and thumbs this video up if you still want me to do a how I edit my Instagram pictures. A lot of you guys were requesting that video. Without further ado, I'm going to get started into this video. Here's what my phone looks like. It's a little bit fingerprinty, but it's okay. I have the white iPhone 5, and it just looks like that, and it has like all the regular buttons and everything, so I don't have a case on it right now. This is what the new um, update looks like, so you can like, I like this part, how you can do it on the lock screen, because you can like play your music, turn it up and turn it down, you can turn up and down the brightness of your phone. You can turn like the lock off, do not disturb, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, airplane mode. You can also go straight to your camera, calculator, timer, and then they have a built-in flashlight on this. So you don't have to get like a flashlight app, which I think is pretty cool. And my background is just a collage of um, Zac Efron that I found on Tumblr, and then you just slide it and type in your password. So this is what it looks like. Um, I have one of the default backgrounds that you can get in like the settings because I think it looks really nice. But now I'm just going to go into detail of what I have on my phone. So the first thing that I have is messages, contacts, camera, and photos. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, I have calendar, weather, iTunes store, app store, YouTube, notes, clock, settings, maps. A utilities folder, which I just have newsstand, which you can finally put in a folder, which is so cool. And then I have compass, voice memos, passbook, reminders, stocks, game center, videos and FaceTime, just a bunch of stuff that I don't really use that often. I use FaceTime, but I usually just go to my contacts to FaceTime someone. And then I have calculator, which I use a lot for like physics and stuff. Then I have my Starbucks app, which is pretty cool. Um, I just have my gold card on here with $37, which is so much, but I just keep a lot of money on there so I don't have to refill it that often. Then I have my photo folder. So in, in here I have Instagram, Snapchat. You should follow me on Instagram. It's Madison Rose Beauty one and I just post pictures, yeah, this is the only Instagram I have. Snapchat is private, but yeah. And then I have BSCO Cam, which is my favorite editing app, and then I have Square Ready, After Life. I have Studio, which is kind of like a new version of Instagram. It's really, it's kind of hard to use. I don't use it for like, to post pictures on there, but I use it to edit pictures. I haven't really used it yet, but it's really cool, and I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. But yeah, then I have Pick Frame for any like collages. I have Photo Vault, which I just keep pictures that I want to keep safe, like ugly pictures of my friends that... I don't want them to delete, so it has a password, and then I have PixArt, which I just use for, like, editing purposes, and then Square Ready Video, which is, like, you can do videos on Instagram, but, like, put it in the white square. Anyways, I'll explain all of these apps more in detail when I film that how I edit my Instagram pictures video, and then I have a social folder where I just have Tumblr, which you can follow me, it's Blame Society with B-L-A-M-E-E dash -E society, um... .tumblr.com. It'll be linked down below. And then I have Vine, and um, my Vine is Maddie Bragg. My Twitter, and you should follow me on Twitter, it's Maddie's Live with two E's. And here's me and Rebecca. We got Taco Bell after school on Monday. So yeah, I don't go on this Twitter a lot, because I'm really busy with school, but yeah, Twitter. <laughs> then I have Uber, which is just like a personal driving service, which I really, really love Uber. Magic, which is a lifesaver if I ever need to take a taxi, which I did a lot this summer, surprisingly. But you can just like, it's good because if you don't know where you are, like when you call a taxi service, they're like, hey, what are your cross streets? Like, where are you? What's the address? And if you don't know, you can use Taxi Magic and it just says, I'm ready to go, pick me up at my current location. And it's great. So anytime you're in a rut and you have no idea where you are, you can take a taxi. 
And then on the next page, I just have a shopping folder, which I don't use a lot, but I still have. I have Etsy, Pink Nation, Amazon, Urban Outfitters, and Winello, just for when I get bored. And then I have this plus, like, I just titled it plus, and I can actually delete this now because they have a built-in flashlight, so goodbye, flashlight. So I have Wells Fargo, which I use to just tech check the balance in my bank account, Heads Up, which is the Ellen game, and it's really fun, the only game I have on my phone, Flickster for movies in my area, like showing times at different theaters, I have Netflix, because I sometimes watch it on my phone, I usually watch it on my computer, but just in case, and then I have Domino's, because you guys know I love pizza, and I can't open it up because it shows my address, but yeah, and then I have another secret box folder, where I keep more pictures, I keep two, because like, I don't know, this one's more hidden, so people though I know I have it. Then I have this Relax app. I don't know, there's a ton of different sounds. Why isn't it working? There's a ton of different sounds that you can play, like... Rainfall... And ocean... And you can, like, mix things, so if you want, like, ocean and wind together, you can mix them, and... I don't know, it's pretty cool. I haven't really used it yet, but there's a lot of different things that you can use and it helps you like relax and sleep so yeah <laughs> and that is pretty much it and then down at the bottom the main apps that I keep are phone, mail, safari and music because I use my phone a lot, I check my email a lot I go on the internet sometimes and then I have my music and the new feature they have on here is like iTunes radio and it's so cool it's basically like Pandora but like built in and it's awesome so that's why I got rid of Pandora but yeah that's pretty much oh and then you can like slide down to search your iPhone and I don't know, I think it's really, really cool. If you haven't already updated your phone to iOS 7, I would definitely recommend it because I really, really like it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have a what's on my iPhone, be sure to post it as a video response down below or let me know in the comments what your favorite apps are and I'll definitely check them out. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!